G'day guys, welcome back to the True Footy YouTube channel. Doing a little bit of a different video today, kind of taking some inspiration from uh, some Premier League YouTube channels that I've seen. Sometimes I do a little bit of sifting around and see if there's any inspiration for good video ideas. And one novel one that I have uh, kind of taken from another channel is trying to come up with the best 22 if all four bottom four teams merged into one, would you be able to create a best 22 that would win the Premiership? So the premise of this video, it is a little silly one, but I thought it'd be a fun exercise is uh, we're gonna construct a best 22 out of West Coast, North Melbourne, Gold Coast and Hawthorne. We're gonna map out the best 22. I'm gonna do it live in front of you. I haven't pre-prepared it, which means I'm obviously going to forget someone. And we're gonna see if we're gonna come up with a team that could potentially beat Collingwood in a grand final. I have no real preconceived notions of uh, whether or not the answer will be yes or no. Well, I guess we'll see and find out. Understandably, the team's probably gonna be fairly young. Those are four fairly young lists uh, off the top of my head. West Coast, probably the most experienced, probably has the most veterans on it. So we'll be able to come up with a bit of a balanced team. Uh, but what we're gonna do now is open up my Excel spreadsheet. But what we're gonna do now is uh, get straight into coming up with the best 22. So remember the four teams, West Coast, North Melbourne, Gold Coast, and Hawthorne. I already know because I've got West Coast in here that I am going to be accused of being biased. That's all right, who cares? It's just a fun video. And I actually invite you guys to come up with your own team as well. We've been doing videos like this recently. And like I said, I am doing this off the top of my head. So um, I haven't pre-prepared this or really put time into research, but I kind of find it more fun that way. Okay, so what's a, what's a good way to start this video? Um, it's, it's hard, to be honest. Uh, where do you start? You probably go through each of the clubs and pick one probably the best player from each club and uh, try and squeeze him into the team. And uh, preferably as well, you'd be looking at unique players. You'd probably be considering um, you know, what position they play and how unique they are and look at your, your key position players as well. Let's start with Hawthorne. Uh, the one I would say is James Sicily. So that's probably who I would put there. Uh, he will make this team at center half back for now. Again, we can shuffle this around because I'm doing it live. Uh, you know, plenty of opportunities to uh, switch stuff around. Uh, considering North Melbourne next, okay, who is the one player I would take from them? Larky just having a 70 goal season. He's probably gonna make this team, but I might go Luke Davies Uniac. I feel like he is probably my favorite North player in terms of, um, you know, his ability, but also, you know, fairly unique. And uh, on his day, one of the best stoppage players in the competition, I think. He just needs to get over his injuries and, and be a little bit more consistent. What about West Coast? Who do you take from West Coast? I feel like I can hear you laughing through the screen. There's gotta be someone you take from West Coast. Yeah, look, I'm gonna chuck Oscar Allen at uh, maybe center half forward, maybe. In fact, let's come up with our forward, uh, our three key forwards, actually. I'm gonna pick three, because I reckon there's, uh, there's a few, and there's gonna be one unlucky one. I'm gonna put Nick Larky in this team as well. Um, let's put him at full forward. So Larky and Allen, both, you know, for the bottom two teams this year, both of these guys were exceptional. You know, Larky in particular, kicking 70 goals and making the All-Australian team for a side in North Melbourne that nearly won the wooden spoon. That's an outstanding effort. And equally, Oscar Allen, um, you know, kicked 53 goals in a diabolical wooden spoon team. So, you know, you get the feeling that both of these players are capable of even more if they played for better teams. But I do want to, I, do, I want to include Ben King in this. And he's gonna, um, he's just gonna push out Mitch Lewis um, in this team. So we've got our three key forwards, Ben King, Oscar Allen, and Nick Larky. I'm pretty happy with that. Ben King's a little bit more on talent than what he's actually produced, but you know, he's probably actually produced more at AFL level than Mitch Lewis anyway. So, all right, who's the best ruck out of these four teams? Um, got a Hawthorne, is it it's Lloyd Meekin? Is it Ned Reeves? Is that who it is? Um, yeah, probably not. Uh, West Coast, Bailey Williams, that was Nick Nat Nui, not gonna include in this. Uh, Bailey Williams, and then uh, North Melbourne, they've lost Goldstein, so it's Cherry. Luckily, Gold Coast have Jared Witts. He's comfortably the best ruck out of the uh, the players available in this video. I probably haven't taken enough from uh, Gold Coast yet, so let's consider who, who are good players on their list. Um, Took Miller probably gets a starting on-ball spot. Forgive me, I just added the interchange because I realized we didn't have an interchange bench there. We will include an interchange bench uh, for this particular game. Who else is there? Um, who are the other key back options? Ooh, Ben Mackay. Let's maybe chuck him in the team. No. We've got Sicily. Um, you know what? There's. The, I would go Tom Barras into this team at fullback. I think he is worthy of that. Best and fairest winner last year. Didn't have a great year this year. But again, a real top-end talent in terms of that. And then uh, for a third tall defender, I'm pretty happy chucking in Charlie Ballard. He is a wonderful set player and uh, probably the next one that I would pick 
What else we got? We need some wingmen. We need a uh, we need another baller. Who's the next best on baller available? So we got LDU and Took Miller. Tim Kelly is probably in there. Um, oh, Hawthorne have John Newcomb as well. So who, who do you put out of those guys? Um, Hawthorne's John Newcomb polled pretty well in the Brown League. Got 18 votes. Tim Kelly, you know, I really feel like a lot of you watching this who don't support West Coast probably don't realize that he's he's actually been a wonderful player this year as well. So you could probably split them evenly. To appease you guys a little bit, I'll probably put Newcomb on the field and I'll put Tim Kelly on the bench. I think that is a, I'm pretty happy with that. That came out yellow. Hmm. Story of my love life. Okay, try that again. Tim Kelly onto the bench. And then uh, ooh, Matthew Rouse also got to make this team. I'm going to format the, the bench as two mids, a forward and a defender. So let's just tentatively put Matthew Rouse in here. He is a wonderful clearance machine. So that's a pretty strong midfield. LDU, Newcomb, Rouse, Miller and Kelly. Uh, pretty inside dominant, you would say. Harry Sheezel, I'm going to chuck into this team. I'm going to chuck him in as a small defender. Uh, he absolutely makes this team. He is, uh, you know, best and fairest for North Melbourne. That's who won theirs, actually. What an outstanding effort that is. So that's a pretty balanced defense so far. You know, you've got the medium uh, running defender and long with three genuine sort of intercept key defenders uh, with different skill sets as well. So uh, that's pretty good so far. Who am I missing? I need to chuck Dylan Moore into this team. He probably cracks it as a sort of high half forward. That's kind of what he plays, isn't it? He's like a small forward that pushes up into the midfield. Uh, Liam Ryan's also a player I'm gonna need to have into this team. I uh, might chuck him on the other half forward flank. Again, injury ruined 2023, as is the case for so many Eagles over the last two years, really. But um, 2020, he was all Australian, and I still think he plays to a really, really high standard when he gets on the park. And a point of difference, he adds something different to this team as well. Will Day is a player I want to get in here, uh, but I've already used up all my midfield options, so I'm going to might chuck him on the halfback flank because uh, he is dual position. I know he probably will rotate through the midfield as well, um, but he is uh, an exceptional young player and he adds a lot to this team with his damaging left foot as well. So pretty happy with that one. Who else? Uh, who goes on my wing? Oh my goodness, I almost forgot close to the best midfielder here is Noah Anderson. He had another wonderful year. I'm glad I left that wing spot open. He can play on the wing. Um, and that, yeah, that rounds out the team. Bit of outside run. So you got Miller, Anderson, and Rao. Three Gold Coast players in there. One uh, midfielder from El uh, North, Hawthorne, and West Coast, respectively. That's probably about right, eh? So we need a halfback flanker. We need a wingman. And we need a small forward. And then we need a forward and a defender for my bench two. What are we looking at here? Probably Blake Hardwick. Uh, he probably makes the team, eh? Uh, that is an entirely Hawthorne <clears throat> backline, or half backline. What I might do is color code this. No, I'll do that at the end. Just for the record though, I will chuck Elliot Yo as my bench defender. I think, uh, you know, despite the injury issues he's had over the year, I still think he's a pretty outstanding player. He's meant to be a midfielder, but because he keeps doing his calves and groins, etc., he's been playing uh, behind the ball a lot more, partly out of necessity too, and sometimes key back. So he adds a really good edge. There's no way that Elliot Yo doesn't make this team, actually. I'm, I don't need to really justify that hard. You know what I might do? I really do like Ben Ainsworth from the Gold Coast Suns. I might actually chuck Liam Ryan in this pocket and chuck Ben Ainsworth here. And that gives a nice balance to that forward line. You've got three genuine talls, Moore and Ainsworth, the smaller sort of high types, and Ryan also is a medium player who can you know, push forward and add a bit of run and carry and deliver inside 50 as well. I think that is a good balance uh, forward line there. So we've got the defense and the forwards uh, pretty well set, as well as the on-ball division, but we need another wingman. Taron Thomas. How about Taron Thomas? He ended the year really well and actually adds, you know, versatility. He can play a little bit forward and uh, pretty strong outside game as well. And delivering the ball inside 50, he's a good option to have. He did end the year the last month. He was like the sixth best player in the competition statistically. I think there's a lot of upside there with Taron Thomas. And I think that balances out that team nicely. What do I need? I need a bench forward. Who is a good forward at any of these clubs um, that is not already picked? What about Cam Zerha? He probably adds something a little bit different to this team. Is he a little bit overrated? Maybe, but I do like the skill set that he brings. So he, maybe he makes it as my bench player as an explosive impact type. And he does add a lot different to Ainsworth and Moore and even Ryan, you would say. Kind of like a poor man's Dugowie. Um Yeah, let's go with uh, Cam Zerha. All right, before we, uh, we summarize exactly how we've gone, I'm gonna color code it, bear with me. All right, voila, I think I've done it. I've correctly color coded all of these, uh, these players here and bolded them, so it's a little bit easier to read. So, uh, very Gold Coast dominated left side of the screen there with uh, Ballard, Anderson, Ainsworth, King, and Wits. Uh, oh, I forgot to get these guys in the right color. <laughs> 
Who's my editor? God. It's me, that's right. Uh, yeah, so Miller and Rao, that's a pretty strong Gold Coast team. They are the highest ranked out of the four bottom four teams. Uh, West Coast, pretty well represented with some, some veterans there in Barras, Allen. Uh, well, Barras and Kelly are the veterans as well as Yo, and then some mid-types in Allen and Ryan. I'm pretty comfortable with those. I think those guys stack up on talent anyway. Uh, Zerha, Larky, LDU, Thomas, and Sheasel. Those are all players I would love to take from North Melbourne, so that makes sense them being in the team. Uh, a very Hawthorne-dominated backline with Hardwick, Sicily, and Day, and then more in the forward line and Newcomb in my midfield there. And I already feel like Hawthorne fans are gonna come at me for this. Not well enough represented. Have they got less players than the Eagles in this? I think it's even. Yep, that's right, it's even. Hawthorne, obviously, a better team. But, you know, West Coast is one of those teams where I still think if you gave them like a FIFA rating, like the players would be better than the team actually perform performs. So I don't think that's the best way of looking at it. But anyway, that's my team, guys. So let me know in the comments what you would do differently. Come up with a team yourselves. Uh, that would be great to see. And uh, let me know what I got right and what I got wrong. But as always, I appreciate all the support on the channel. Give me some ideas for more videos like this to do. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.